France and Italy are each other's second largest trading partners, with trade between them reaching hundreds of billions of dollars annually. Establishing a high-quality transport link between the two nations is economically vital. However, the Alps, stretching across the Franco-Italian border and reaching elevations up to three miles above sea level, present a significant challenge to this goal. In a bold endeavor to connect these two nations, France and Italy are now undertaking the construction of a $28 billion railway through the Alps. Today, we will explore the Lyon Turin Railway, examining its construction, distinctive features, and its potential impacts both positive and negative. The idea for a rail link between France and Italy dates back centuries. In the 1850s, the Kingdom of Sardinia began building the Victor Emmanuel Railway between Modane and Turin to traverse the Alps. By 1871, the construction of the 8.5-mile-long Frages Rail Tunnel was completed, finally linking France and Italy. The single-track railway was doubled and electrified in the early 20th century, and it has undergone several renovations since then. Despite these improvements, the railway remains significantly outdated. Its narrow tunnels restrict the maximum height allowed, limiting the size of trains that can pass through. Additionally, the railway's sharp curves necessitate low travel speeds. The challenging profile, with a maximum gradient of 3% and a peak elevation of 4,390 feet, requires trains to double or triple their locomotives to traverse it. Modern safety regulations also prohibit passenger and freight trains from passing each other in the Freitas Rail Tunnel, creating a major bottleneck. Furthermore, the route's passage through the steep Morian Valley makes it vulnerable to landslides, one of which occurred in August 2023, forcing the railway's closure until summer 2024. Due to these issues, most freight and passengers traveling between France and Italy now use trucks or airplanes, with about 3 million trucks crossing between the two countries each year. However, this method is energy inefficient and harmful to the environment. In response, the French state-owned railway company, SNCF proposed constructing a high-speed rail line between Lyon and Turin in 1990. The following year, France and Italy ratified the Alpine Convention, aiming to limit road transport through the mountains and promote modern rail transport. The 1999 Mont Blanc Tunnel Fire, which resulted in 39 deaths, further reinforced this decision. By 2001, the design for the Lyon Turin rail link was drafted, and in 2005 it was integrated into the EU's Trans European Transport Network. Finally, in January 2017, after over a decade of planning, the parliaments of France and Italy ratified an international treaty to build the railway, officially authorizing its construction. The turin Leon Railway will span 168 miles between France and Italy and is divided into three sections. On the French side, it will begin on the outskirts of Leon, connecting with France's LGV Sudest high-speed rail line, which continues north to Paris, and the LGV Rhone Alps and Mediterranean lines running south to Marseille. The railway will then follow the A43 motorway before diverging to pass through a 14 mile long tunnel beneath the Chartreuse Mountains and another 12.5 mile long tunnel under the Beldon Mountains before reuniting with the A43 motorway until the town of Saint Jean de Mordian. On the Italian side, the railway will begin in northeast Turin where it will connect with Italy's AV high-speed rail line, continuing to Milan and down the Italian peninsula. The railway will then wind up into the Alps before reaching the town of Bussolino. The third segment, the international section between Morian in France and Bussolino in Italy, is managed by a joint French-Italian venture called TELT. This segment will span 43 miles and feature the 36-mile-long Mont dambin base tunnel, also known as the Mont Sinus base tunnel, which will be the longest rail tunnel in the world, surpassing the current record holder, the Gotthard base tunnel in Switzerland, by 0.2 miles. The tunnel will have twin tubes, deep ventilation shafts, passenger evacuation rooms, underground service and rescue stations, and fire mitigation 
and smoke extraction systems. Seven tunnel boring machines will be used to excavate the tunnel, except for a three-mile section of hard rock that will be removed using traditional drilling and blasting methods. The new rail line will have a maximum gradient of only 0.1%, compared to 3% for the old line, and a maximum altitude of just 1,900 feet, compared to 4,390 feet for the old line. Additionally, the route will feature much wider curves than the old railway. These improvements will save energy costs and allow for faster travel, with heavy freight trains traveling at 100 km per hour and passenger trains at 220 km per hour, just below the 250 km per hour threshold used by the EU to define high-speed rail lines. The total project cost is estimated at $28 billion, with $9.2 billion allocated for the Mont Dambin Base Tunnel. The tunnel's cost will be co-financed, with the EU covering 40%, Italy 35%, and France 25%. The remaining $18.8 .8 billion for the French and Italian sections will be funded by their respective governments. The new turin Leon link is an integral part of the Mediterranean corridor of the EU's trans-European transport network, which runs from Spain in the west to Hungary in the east. Since construction was authorized in 2017, the turin Lyon rail link has made significant progress. Excavation of a large section of the Mont Dambin base tunnel began with inspection work prior to official approval. By 2019, this section was completed on budget and on schedule, representing 8% of the final tunnel length. In September 2021, construction contracts totaling $28 billion were signed. In August 2023, work began on the French entrance to the Mont d'Ambin Tunnel, and contracts were awarded for the excavation of 15.5 miles of tunnel on the Italian side. By December 2023, the tunnel construction site on the Italian side was opened. As of January 2024, there were 11 active work sites involving 2,500 professionals many of whom are anticipating the arrival of the tunnel boring machines in 2024. Over the following years, the Mont Dambin Tunnel will be excavated, and the turin Leon Railway will be constructed, with the planned opening in 2032. The new link will unite France and Italy, boosting their economies and positively impacting the environment. Speaking of its positive impact, the new turin Leon Railway link will bring numerous benefits to France and Italy. First, it will increase rail capacity and transport speeds, supporting trains of up to 1,500 tons, compared to the current 700 tons, resulting in a 40% net energy savings. These improvements are expected to double rail traffic, generating 500 million euros in annual economic benefits while strengthening the regional economy. Additionally, the railway will integrate with France and Italy's high-speed rail networks, significantly reducing travel times across the region. Furthermore, by diverting a potential 25 million tons of freight traffic from road to rail annually, the railway will have a positive environmental impact. Although its construction is estimated to generate 10 million tons of CO2 emissions, once operational, it will remove an estimated 1 million trucks from the roads of the Alps each year preventing CO2 emissions equivalent to that of a city of 300,000 residents. This will offset construction emissions within 15 years, and over the railway's 120-year lifespan, it is projected to prevent a total of 105 million tons of net CO2 emissions. While the new turin Leon railway will bring many benefits, there has been some criticism. Locals have expressed concern about the impact of drilling, concreting, and washing on the region's precious alpine water resources. There are also worries that construction could damage ecological sites and that excavated rock may be dumped in the region's forests. However, measures have been taken to address these concerns, with 65% of excavated material being reused within construction and the remaining 35% stored appropriately. Additionally, many believe the project is simply too expensive and that funds should be redirected toward improving current infrastructure. 
Despite the opposition, the project's predicted benefits will hopefully outweigh the costs, leading to its successful completion. What are your thoughts on the new Turin Leon Railway? Leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.